Have we have we uh, stripped it now? Is that it? Oh no, there's another drive bay on the back. Oh, another one, another drive bay. Surely that's got to be it. Okay, guess what's got a new update? Well, if you've clicked on this video, you know already. PC Build Simulator 2 1.5 update is now live. In this, there is updates to the themes in the Decorate app. There is partnership with MSI. So there is all MSI goodies to assign to the workshop. So we've got walls, we've got floors, we've got the ceilings, uh, we've got desks posters there's even a cool little um rgb um lighting effect you can do on the walls and control it with a, a control panel and a uh, display cabinet as well now the next thing is there is new parts so we have some new stuff from cooler master we have stuff from fractal design we've got in wind there's nvidia and probably a thing that quite a lot of you will be pretty pumped for is that you can actually use a controller now so there's controller support added to the game so you can configure it to however you want build pcs with a controller so with a controller you can just build a pc so you just bring up your inventory and you'll go and choose what case you want to use so I will just choose, um, what shall I choose? What should I build it with? Let's build it in. Let's build one of the newer cases. So there is the case modding case. And there's also the new, I, I call it doubly. It's, it's a really weird case. This in win doubly. So you, know, you, just, you place it down with your right trigger. Then you can just take the side panels off by pressing A. Okay, and then when you want to put a bit in, you can move down to the bottom with the um, um, bumper buttons. Go to install. Come onto the left panel over here and you just go and choose your motherboard. I'm just going to throw any random one in. And you just build it like you would normally, so you zoom in. Move your cursor over here. You can open up your clips for your, for your RAM. Put your RAM in. So that's open. Open that. Go back to install. Go back over here. Just go and bosh me chip in. Close it. Install. Thermal paste. Bish bosh. Yeah, look at that. It's perfect. Perfect grain of rice amount. So anyway, so that's how, that's how you do it with the controller. So, um, all the things with the controller is you can actually, you can remap your buttons and stuff. So if we go into options over to the controller section, and then you can do your key bindings. So you've got your general inputs, you've got your tablet buttons, you've got your workbench inputs, and you've got your miscellaneous ones. You can change everything around. If you don't like like going to the BIOS and right trigger, change it to something else. If you don't like moving X and Y, you can you can move it around. I'm not gonna change any of that at the moment because it will mess up the rest of the video. Anyway, so uh, what else do I want to show you? Oh yeah, I best get showing you some of the big things. So let me just go and show you the new motherboards. So we have new motherboards. We have two new motherboards. We have the MSI Meg Z790 Ace, which is this one. And then we have the MSI Mag B650 Mortar. Okay, so this is the MSI Meg Z790 Ace. As you can see, this has space for, I believe it's five M2 slots. So as you can see, this is a Socket 1700, supports DDR5, it's an E80X, maximum RAM speed is 7800, multi-GPU uh, support is Crossfire, M2 slots, yes. So that is that one. This is the Mortar one, B650M Mortar. So AM5, this one is. Uh, DDR5, up to 6000 megahertz. This one's got less M2 slots. This only has these two slots. So that's them two new ones. Let's throw them away. Cases. So I'll, I'll quickly cover the cases. Now I've got two of the cases set up running already, along with uh, my uh, secret subliminal. Oh, why is that text in the way? So a secret subliminal message. Um, okay. That's, 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 uh, 
you'll get the gist of it. Uh, this is the Inwin Mod 3 case. I've just set up a basic build in this. Filled it full of goodies. As you can see, that is all looking fabulous. And then this this monstrosity. This is a this is a doubly. Yeah, you can see there's lots of lots of RGB going on in this one. It's got new motherboards. Well, it's got new PSU in this. It's got uh, yeah, it's got um. Oh, what's that there? What's that sign say? Yeah, it's got um loads of new stuff in this and you can take loads of stuff off on that one so let us do a little bit of a deep dive in those so there is four new cases so first of all ridge range which is fractal design we've got two for this we've got we've got chalk and charcoal so they are both micro sized cases very small form factor so you can only fit a lot of itty bitty things in this so when you do start building up systems in this you will not be able to put a lot of stuff in it because it's quite a funky looking case it has let me just show you so when you put your stuff in the gpu mounts on this one are actually at the top so you're going to be quite restricted what actual cards and stuff you can put in here if you want to put an aio in on the top but as i said that's available in two flavors it is uh chalk and charcoal not like chalk and cheese now the other two actually i said there's four cases there's actually three because ridge is chalk and charcoal so that's two variants and then we've got mod free which is possibly the maddest case i have seen so this is another one by inwin inwin mod three and it's it's like an ikea case it's just everything in this you can pretty much take out so look look how much you can strip down on this you can take out absolutely loads of it and it's just pieces keep coming off it and it keeps on going right so yeah take that out what's that a bracket yeah <laughs> take that out oh another panel we'll take that out have we have we uh, stripped it now? Is that it? Oh no, there's another drive bay on the back. Oh, another one, another drive bay. Surely that's got to be it. Yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that's that case. Uh, that that's a bit more friendly for what you can put in it. It's a full tower. It's got various sizes of motherboards, uh, ATX. Yeah, all that stuff. So that's that one. And then we've got the other one which we have behind, which is the white one. This is the the doubly. So this is another in win one. And as you can see with this, tempered glass side, it's got the front comes off, you've got your dust filter at the top comes off, side panels come off, uh, you've got drive bays that can pop out. I don't think there's a PSU mount on this. You've got a PCI lock there, take that out, take all the uh, covers out. More drive bays off the back you can get rid of. Oh, so many drive bays. And the nice thing about this one, I like the I like the white and orange. I'd say the mod three is very IKEA in the build, but that that reminds me of IKEA, the orange and the white with this one. As you can see, you can just stick loads of fans on this. I went a bit crazy with fans in that one. Okay, so that's the new cases. Now GPU wise, I have the GPUs actually running in this. Let me just run a quick little three D mark as I'm talking, because you'll see why in a second. So we have new gpus from nvidia and we have the 4060 ti's so these come in two flavors they are 8 and 16 gig so same uh spec size so it's just a difference in ram on them you can see this one is the eight gigabyte one you can see that's spinning away running 3d mark and this one over here is the 16 gig one so I'm going to just run a basic 3D mark on this. This is just a, an i9-13900KS with 32 gig of RAM. Not overclocked or anything. XMP, nothing like that's turned on. And this is against a Ryzen 9 16 core 7950X. Okay. So let's compare the scores to that when that finishes. Okay, the Intel is finished. So that is 12,044. Can AMD compete? Oh, 11,669. Intel wins. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Um, so that's the two new GPUs. No other new GPUs. Oh, we have uh, got a new um, our 
display. Let me see if I can open this up and show you. So this is the new MSI, MSI MPG 850G. That is that, 850 watt. It's modular, it's ATX. It powers things up. It's lovely. What else have we got? Oh, case fans. Yeah, so there's a load of in-win case fans. These are the in-win Neptune AN120s. But there is other new in-win fans. So I'm not going to install all these because it will take forever. But if you do want to see more, let me know. So we do have the DN120 Pro. And then we've also got the DN140 Pro. So you can see they're like both of those are non-RGB. Um, there is also the AN one you've already seen. So if I just do in-win AN, that's the RGB flavor. And there's also one which I was super excited about because it says Halo. <laughs> so that's a cool master. Cooler master, cooler master, master fan MF20 Halo. So that is that one. That is all the new case fans you are getting. So we've covered the new cases, covered the case fans, covered the GPUs. Oh, air coolers. So there is actually a Halo Black, which is that one. Cooler Master Hyper Halo 2.1 Black supports all those sockets. So that's pretty sweet. Um, covered the motherboards. So let's, let's have a little look at the peripherals. So there is some new wireless mouses so we've got the clutch range of mouses and in this we have the gm31 which is this one it's not really the easiest thing to sort of show you on that so we've got the clutch gm31 and we've also got the clutch gm51 so that's rgb and that's rgb as well keyboards yes we've got some new clackety clackety keyboards so Keyboard wise, there is Vigo range MSI. So we got VK, well, Vigo GK71 Sonic Red, red switches. So that's that one. That looks pretty nice. That is a big fat keyboard rest on that one. And then we've also got the GK50. If you fancy the white one, that's more of a white sort of themed uh, keyboard. Uh, monitors, there is new monitorage. So we've got the MSI G274 QPF QD. Tried to say that five times. So that is another nice little addition. I think that is it for new parts. Oh, no, it's not. I'm a filthy liar. AIOs. There is quite a few new in-win AIOs. So if we look at in-win, we have BR36, which I can show you. Actually, I've set that up in the case. And we've also got the BR36, which is that one. Then we've also got the MR24, and there's an MR36 as well. And there's also a new MSI one, which is the Core Liquid. This is the one I've actually set up in the system here. Oh, no, that's the, that's, that's the, that's the in-win BR36 running in this system. Let me power it off and show you. As you can see, it looks like it's a megaphone, and that's just spinny, spinny, spinny on there. And this is the other one I was trying to show you. This is the MSI Liquid, which is pretty cool. Shows you the CPU temperature on it. Okay, I believe that is all the new um, parts then. So the only thing left to show you now is the new MSI stuff. So I know a lot of you like this. So if we go to MSI and we do apply to all, here we go. Right, let's... Let's show you it from the start. So you've got the nice little dragon logo here. You've got loads of RGB everywhere. Looks pretty cool if you turn it off. Look, look at this. I do like it with it turned off. Makes I think it makes the colors pop a lot more. Um, we've got posters as well. So if I go to the left, there is a, a selection of four different posters. So you've got one, you got two, I've got three. And we've got four. Pretty sweet. This as well we have. So this is the control panel for the lighting for the scene. So you've got basic and advanced. Now you can switch the static effect here. So if you watch this thing here, you switch this to pulse. Now you should see a little visible pulse effect with this. I think it's slightly easier on some colors. So let's change color. 
So I don't know if that's going to render out. You're going to be able to tell. I can just about, just about see it. Easy to turn the lights off. But look at this. NVIDIA for the win. <laughs> with the, <laughs> with the, uh, the uh, MSI theme. Yes. You've also got the advanced thing. You've got the colour wheel here. So you can just choose what colour you want. Choose all, alter all your saturation and stuff. Choose the brightness. Okay, let's turn the lights back on. Okay, so you've got various MSI branding. We've got a clock up there. You've got the banners on the walls. They've got... Oh, look at that. Look at the green there. If I could angle that a bit better, if that blind wasn't there, that looks like the MSI dragon is just getting the power of Grayskull. And I'm sure my age mentioning that. We've got an MSI cupboard. Uh, we've got loads of little toys hanging around, little dragons everywhere. We've got the feature wall here, as you can see. Look at that. Uh, we've also got a cupboard here with all the various MSI branded swag. Got some motherboards, we've got some cups, we got hats, and we've got we got the lot. And I think that is it. So if you liked seeing all of that and you enjoy watching these latest update videos, comment and let me know. And a final word from our sponsor. Wow. Yeah, if you like and subscribe, or my dog will cry. See you next time.